So anyway, the setup here in the Taco in the Colorado is uh, is going to change as far as my mapping goes. For years, I've been running my old laptop, and that laptop's got to be six, eight years old. I love the software on it, Delorme uh, Topo USA. Apparently, I can't find it anymore. I mean, my laptop still runs. I mean, you have to go on one of my older videos. I used it on my old Super Duties where I started using it. And I had the laptop holder and everything like the police use. Worked out perfect. Uh, I was trying to do something similar in this truck, but the laptop's kind of old. There isn't that room I have in here like I did on the Super Duty. Even on the Tacoma, what I would do, I just set it on the seat here and you know so it's functional but it's not that great so what I did I upgraded to a iPad finally iPad mini 4 and I got this little holder for it which goes right here and this is kind of cool because look at it, it just mounts in the cup holder you got this expansion thing right here you tighten up and if it's loose, they, you know, you got to put something around there to take up the, the gap, but yeah, it's kind of loose. I still got to tighten it up a little more. I might have to put a, a spacer in there they give you, but that might work. We'll see what happens. What I need now is uh, some kind of software. I've got uh, this one, Topo Maps, but uh, so far I'm not impressed with that. Another one I was using, I was trying out was uh, X on X Hunt. My trial expired already, but I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't had a chance to use it. Kind of sucks. You go to trial and you, I haven't gone anywhere. Give me a break here. But uh, yeah, so that's got to be a. Uh, I've got to upgrade that and another thing about that is it does not work if you're offline so let's say I'm in the middle of some place you know it's not gonna work I need to download maps so that's the difference between the one I have on my laptop from Delorme all the maps are on there this I got to download the map before I go anywhere so I just got to remember that my laptop's still good, so I'm going to use that as a secondary uh, map, just because. So what do you think of the setup here? Is it going to work? Is it going to fly? It's coming along. Still don't have my gears yet. I'm going to have to do me a GoFundMe or something for that one. That's going to be about $1,200. An extra $1,200, I figure, I think $600 in axle. I already have the gears, I just need somebody to install them. So I don't know how good this is going to come out, but heck, I got nothing else to do today. So uh, as you can see, if you know anything about California, there's San Bernardino, Moreno Valley, Corona, Los Angeles, Simi Valley. Uh, I-40, this is Interstate 15 going out to Vegas, Nevada. So, what I would like to do in the future, as soon as I get this truck together, is we're going to do some mapping of trails in between the 40 and the 15 out here. This is basically, the majority of that is in the Mojave Preserve. And there's a lot of trails out there to uh, explore. Yeah, you see Fort Irwin, 29 Palms, Victorville, Hesperia. Mojave Desert. So I'm thinking the first one I'm going to do is probably be the Afton Canyon to uh, Ludlow or Ludlow to Afton Canyon. Done that before but people always ask me how do you get there? Or where, well, what road is that? What trail a number? I, you know what? I don't know. I do know how to get there but the exact trail numbers I really don't know. I usually just uh, go on, uh, you know, see I need to pull that down a little here so you can see better, there you go. So there's Ludlow, basically go across, 
Uh, there's a railroad tracks that go through here. See Kelso? Hit the railroad tracks, make a left, and go back towards the 15. It's that simple. Uh, let me zoom in a little more. There's Afton, Crucero. So typically, the way I've gone is Ludlow is now off the chart here, but you take Ludlow to Crucero, make a left, and you follow railroad tracks back to Afton Canyon. Easy enough. Although people are like, whoa, man, how do you know where you're going? Well, I'm going to do a little, I plan on doing like a little travel guide and actual map that maybe I could make some money off of, you know, we'll, so we'll go out there, we'll do a little video, uh, yeah, I'll go out there actually keep track of all the trail numbers and all that maybe side routes things to see trail conditions um, and you can follow along on my youtube channel videos or and i'll have a map an actual put together some kind of map maybe put like a little color brochure or something i don't know i'd have to get like a whole book together maybe i'd make them a series and you put them together yourself into a book you know but there's a lot of miles out there to cover. The stuff isn't cheap. Um, I might be doing like a Patreon account. People get, keep on telling me to do that. This is a uh, part of my plan here. So I like this, but I need some software for that. And this is Apple, that's uh, Microsoft. So I haven't found anything to find, fit in here just yet. All right guys, so besides the laptop, GPS, and uh, this other GPS and the GPS that's on the truck, which is kind of useless off-road uh, Maps get yourself a map Look at National Geographic Mojave National Preserve. This is a good map Find that on Amazon Here's another map over here. I got this on Amazon. It's opened up right now, but this is a Tom Harrison map I got two because a lot of these maps sometimes the, they, they have different features or they're missing things so yeah this is good to see the whole picture here and if you know where you're at like here's Ludlow right here off Interstate 40 the trail to Afton Canyon just follows Crucero Road across Broadwell Dry Lake all the way over here Crucero Dry Lake Crucero Hill, make a left turn, go back to Basin Road, Afton Canyon, you're back on the Mojave Trail. Okay, Cave Mountain, as you see in this picture here, there's no trail going up to Cave Mountain. But yes, there is. I've been there. BLM, BLM maps have different trails in this map. That's another map you might want to get a BLM map. Stop at the BLM office there in, uh, it's either in Barstow or Victorville, I forget where. I've got that map. That has all the open trails with the numbers so you know what trail you're on. Because they're not on here. And they're not on my GPS uh, software either. So yeah, so this would be the first trail and then we'll detour off and I'll show you how to get up to the cliffs, how to get in Cave Mountain. Um, I've done this trail right here. This is a BLM trail that connects to this power line road. Out here there's a marker for some guy that died out there. I got that in one of my older videos. I forget which one. It was a little while ago. Guy went out here mountain biking. Parked his truck by himself. Went out mountain biking and never came back. And they found him uh, a few days later. And there's a little, little monument to him out there. There's another monument up here on Cave Mountain, up in the top, Cody, Cody something. I talked to his mom. <laughs> Somebody found me on Facebook, says, yeah, I know that dude, man. Call his mom, <laughs> call his mom. His mom wants to talk to you. Crazy. There's another story. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty sad one. Show you what drugs will do to you, you know. Uh, okay, so that's just one. I've been all over here. I've been Jackass Canyon. I've been right here. He has this 
down as Jackass Canyon Road. But this, what I heard on my older maps is uh, Cal Kelso Road. I've been up to Brannigan Mine, spent the night up there, Mojave Trail. Uh, this is the Mojave Trail. Ow, oh, damn, flies biting me. I've been, this is the Mojave Trail, did the Mojave Trail, Mojave Road. I've been up here, Mid Hills, Wild Horse Canyon, Black Canyon Road. I've been Macedonia Canyon Road. And all these places, people, how do you get there? You know, gee, where is it at? What road is that? Well, where do you make the turn off? So anyway, here's a perfect example why to carry more than one map. This is the National Geographic Mojave National Preserve map. And it basically gives you a lot of detail on the preserve, but nothing outside the preserve. So if you're starting off here on the 40, from Ludlow, you're not even on the map. It does show Crusoe right over here on the edge. It does not show Afton Canyon, because Afton Canyon is not in the Mojave Preserve. Isn't that interesting? Uh, this has a lot of hiking trails and stuff like that, though. You might want to stop and see. Um, yeah. yeah, I've been all the way out here to Sands. This does not. This does not have the trail that goes across from Sands. But I've gone all the way Jackass Canyon, all the way over there, Cinder Cones. Haven't been everywhere. I've done most of this. There's some areas on, uh, south of the 40 I'd like to go check out uh, down here. The Old Woman Mountains Wilderness, but it's not on the map. So, back of the truck here are the fenders for the Colorado. Rough country fenders for the Colorado. I wasn't gonna, I was gonna put them on if my tires, if I had issues fitting my tires and wheels, you know, and they stuck out, but they didn't stick out, so. I kind of like it without them, but I've got them. I've got those and I got a set of inch and a half wheel spacers for the Colorado. Issue is, uh, these things are taking up a whole lot of room. That's why in the back of the truck. I'm tired of moving them around every time I need to get something out of the garage. I'm tempted to throw them out, just man, I get this thing out of here. So. About two weeks ago, a guy called me for them and I told him, you want them, you know, pff, come get them. And uh, he called me like, well, he said, yeah, Friday, Friday after work. I'm like, okay, give me a call. Tell you where to meet me. You can have them. Bring me a 12 pack, you know? Uh, I never heard from him. Well, I did. A few days later. Well, I don't know if they're still available. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know what? I'm having second thoughts now. I could use the money. Why am I giving this stuff away? So if you want them, make me an offer on them. You know, I wanted to get at least $100 for them. They're here. I want to get rid of them. Now they're taking up room in the truck, you know? I got to get in here now to wire my uh, my battery. And they're in the way. Got to take them out. and they're out of my garage but now they're just in the way still because I got things to do so yeah send me a private message uh, find me on Facebook um, yeah just leave a comment I'll get back with you comment in the box below